So we are, first of all, thanks everybody for watching another video from AA Sports Cards. We are currently hard at work uh, selling a very large collection on consignment for a long time collector. Uh, this gentleman has been collecting, um, you know, saved a lot of his childhood stuff, including these particular cards. He's been collecting since the 1960s. He's at a point where he's kept some of the things that mean the most to him, and he is at the point where he wants to sell his collection off, and he's not comfortable doing it himself. He's not really familiar with the lay of the land on eBay, doesn't want to spend the time sitting in front of his computer, listing, answering emails, packaging up, scanning, all the work and detail that goes into a successful eBay transaction, which we are more than happy to do being in the consignment business. We do that for you. So, uh, so far it's worked out very, very well. And uh, if you go to our selling site on eBay, which is Vahuda, V-A-H-O-O-T-A, in addition to a multitude of nice high-end modern unopened wax boxes, which we'll be offering probably for a very long time uh, due to the nature of the very large purchase, but you'll see a lot of that stuff on there. And you'll see some of the lots from this gentleman, including a 1960 Topps baseball set that just went on, just went live the other night. I have several other sets from him to come in baseball, including 1962, 1963 with the Pete Rose rookie, 1964. And the great thing about this gentleman's collection is it's every sport, hockey, baseball, football, um, not basketball, so almost every sport. One of the interesting things in this gentleman's collection, and I, as I'm working on and getting ready to put his things on eBay, I'm making short videos for is the 1962 Post Serial Baseball Set. This was the only year that Post Serial did a baseball set. They did two uh, CFL sets also in this year and uh, 1963. They never did a hockey set. Uh, no, I don't know why. Maybe somebody does. Um, and, you know, these aren't the most attractive cards in the world. I'm going to put these down in a sec. This is a near set, by the way. There are 200 cards in the set, and this gentleman has 155 of them and um, here are some of the stars the again these aren't really attractive cards but they just grow on you there's something about them the text on the back is in both english and french and most importantly kids had to cut these off of the cereal boxes by hand so some of the cuts i've had a lot of post cereal cards over the years some of the cuts are ridiculously bad and crude and some are not too bad depending on you know how how um how much time and effort a young child often a boy wanted to spend um removing the cards from the box again you know uh 50 something years ago there was not a lot of thought given to you know, uh, showing all four borders and, um, you know, making sure that precision was taken. I don't know if precision was a word most eight-year-old boys uh, really uh, even knew how to spell or knew the meaning of. So here's some of the stars and as you can see the various different cuts. Um, but as I say, they never did a hockey set and I really wish they had because I really think it would have been a very, very popular uh, thing for hockey collectors. It would have come out in 1961 or 1962. So, you know, just at the end of Rocket Richard's career, but we would have had Gordy Howe, we would have had maybe Dave Keon in his rookie card in this set, as well as again, you know, the Richards, the Plants, the Hortons, the Mahovliches, the Delvecchios, all the greats of the original six team, uh, Sawchuck, Glenn Hall, etc. So uh, there, you know, there's the Hank Aaron, which is very, very rough. And then there's some other cards which are decent. That's Joe Torre's rookie card. Um, one of the big keys to the set. And I'll just come to the end of some of the major stars because I do want to show something important. The best thing about this particular set and some others like it are much like beehive photos in a way the real sought after expensive cards in the set are not stars 
Moose scour into a degree. That's not a single print, I don't believe. It's just somewhat difficult card to find. But these cards, and there are several, there, there's some that are very, very tough that this gentleman didn't have. But these seven cards are generally referred to as single prints. I don't know if that means they were on an unpopular uh, flavor of cereal that a lot of kids didn't buy, probably a healthy one for the time that um, mothers didn't want to buy for their kids and these cards were probably on the back of them but these are very very hard cards to find and they are the uh they're the cards that are going to really help sell this group we're going to offer it as a part set 155 of 200 on ebay um, again we don't break things up we like to sell sets or near sets complete so we interest both collectors and resellers in a lot which again resellers are the action buyers if you're selling a large quantity of cards you want those action buyers interested in your stuff so seven single prints in this part set a plethora of stars and a big chunk of the set that's going live tonight on ebay uh, under our user ID, which is Vahuda. Whoa, didn't drop it. V-A-H-O-O-T-A. And uh, we will continue to sell consignments for this gentleman. Lots more stuff to come. Lots more videos to come. If you reside in Canada and you are at a point where you want to sell some or all of your collection and you don't want to do it yourself, you'd rather spend your free time, you know, enjoying the nice summer weather uh, with your family or doing things you enjoy instead of, again, all the work that goes into selling your collection. We're here to help you. Give me a phone call, give me an email, let's discuss what you have. And uh, we would love to continue growing our business. That is our goal. And uh, we want to be we want to be Canada's consigner for vintage and high-end modern sports cards. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, stay cool, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon with another video.